Hey friends, Katie Rum here. I hope you've had a great week. Welcome back to another Five Friday Favorites. Today's video is gonna be a fun one. So today is gonna be the ultimate Jujube backpack showdown. <laughs> I'm hoping today's video answers a lot of questions that I've been getting. Um, a lot of times I'll get questions asking about how different styles of Jujube bags compare, and typically it's on the backpack. So I thought it would be fun to go ahead and pack the same exact items up in each one of these backpacks so that you guys can see exactly how capacity wise these backpacks compare. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the Million Pockets backpack, which is one that I have not featured here yet on my channel. And I'm going to go through everything that I have packed up inside in normal packing video detail, show you what's in each pouch, why I have them in here, and then I'm gonna pack the same exact items in each one of these bags in a little bit more of a sped up fashion so the video is not so crazy long. But hopefully you'll be able to see how each one of these compares with the same amount of items packed up in each one. So let's go ahead and start with the Million Pockets bag. All right, so like I said, this here is the newest backpack to Jujube, and it is in their brand new Beyond collection, and it is the Million Pockets backpack. The backpack is so soft. It's made of this really nice vegan leather type material, but it's not like a stiff structured leather. It's very, very soft and it's squishy and it's just a really comfortable backpack to carry. So I have it packed up for a typical day out with all three of my kids. So this would be like a longer day out. We're gonna be away from the house for a couple of hours, that type of thing. Um, it has pretty much everything that I would need. So sometimes obviously I pack a little heavier or I'll pack lighter, or if we're going to a theme park or an outdoor activity, it will look quite different. So I tried to pack it up in a way that I planned on using it this weekend, as well as a way that's kind of basic that I think a lot of you would carry similar to this. So we're gonna go ahead and unpack this one. Right here on the front, you have a nice tech pocket. It has a strong magnetic closure that's kind of hidden by a magnet here on the inside, the nice jujube plaque. And then inside here, I just threw in my cell phone. Um, nine times out of 10, I will have this on me, not usually in my bags, but again, purposes of the video, I wanna show how it fits inside there. Then moving down into the mommy pocket of this bag, which is probably my favorite thing about this entire bag. I absolutely love these zipper pulls. They're so unique. They just kind of go together perfectly. Um, and they're just, I don't know how to explain them, but they're just really different and unique. So I really like them. Um, you have two zipper pulls obviously here that opens up to the big part of the mommy pocket. And I think the reason that this pocket is my favorite out of all of the millions pockets that are in this bag is because it holds its shape. So no matter how much you have packed on the inside of this bag, you still have a good amount of room inside this mommy pocket. So. I really like that because sometimes with bags, you lose room in certain pockets if you have other ones packed. Hope that makes sense. So inside here, you actually have two elastic pockets and then you have two leather trimmed pockets back here in the back and a big zipper pocket. I don't have anything inside this zipper pocket at the moment attached to this uh, key leash. I have my keys and I always, always have a hair tie. That's just something I always have on me for either my daughter or I. Um, that's attached here to this key leash. Then inside the pockets here, I actually don't have anything tucked down in this one because I have my wallet sitting right in front of it. This is a wallet made by MZ Wallace. It's been a favorite of mine lately. It's just small and compact and I really like it. So I have that tucked down in there, pretty perfect fit. Then I have a big pack of gum over here in this pocket. This elastic pocket right here in the front of the bag, I just have a hand cream, one of my favorites. A lot of these items probably look familiar to you all. They are the most common ones that I pack typically all the time. And then I also have my Touchland hand sanitizer inside this elastic pocket. So lots of room inside this pocket for sure. On the front part of this pocket, you do have a um, zip pocket that goes the entire way across and in here, is just a really good pocket for my face masks, which are made by Kitsch. I love these, my daughter and I wear them. So I have two tucked down inside there. Let's move on to the back of the backpack. 
Another thing I love about this backpack are these two rings in the back, which make it really easy to attach to a stroller if you um, are needing to do so. I also love the grab handles here at the top. Makes it really easy to kind of just grab this bag and put it over the crook of your arm um, or just kind of grab and go with it. I think they're really soft and easy to use and very sturdy. Um, the backpack straps are cushioned nicely. They're comfortable. They're easily adjustable here. And then similar to the um, Be Right Back, you do have a zip pocket back here in the back, which has the change pad that comes with this bag. This bag comes with change pad as well as stroller straps. I don't have either of those in here, obviously, because my kids are a little bit bigger, being that they're elementary and middle school ages. But inside this pocket, which I typically use this pocket for things like coloring books or flat things, which you'll see in some of the other bags as I pack up these items. But right now I just threw in some wet ones and then I also have a package of Lysol disinfecting wipes, just a good spot that's easy to grab for. And those items are things that I need pretty frequently these days. While I'm over here, let's go ahead and touch on this side pocket can get the bag a little bit more in view. There we go. So down in here, I have an older product by Jujubee. This is the Be Shady. And inside here, I have my eyeglasses. And then I also have my sunglasses. These are just Coach eyeglasses and my sunglasses are made by Limea. So both of those fit really well down inside this Be Shady. I like it because it's a nice kind of hard case. The side pockets over here do cinch up, which is something else that's pretty unique about this bag. So if you have something smaller down in here, say maybe a pack of tissues or a cell phone or something that could easily fall out if the pocket was opened like this, you can kind of tighten it with this closure here. Over here in this side pocket, the only thing I have is actually a 17 ounce swell bottle. I have a ton of water bottles and I chose this one just because I think it's most common. I think a lot of you might have this water bottle. It seems to be pretty popular. So I wanted to show how it fits in each one of the bags. So I have that easily tucked down in um, this side pocket over here. Now moving in to the big compartments of this backpack, let's start with the back one of the two. Both zippers um, on both of these compartments are double zippers, so they open up both ways, and they go down to right above this um, bottle pocket or side pocket over here, so about halfway down here on the bag. Opening up this back pocket here, you'll see I have something attached to this grab handle back here. This is a great little, I don't know if you wanna call it a hack or something that I like to do, um, with this particular backpack, but I have attached here a link cuff. Um, it's actually made by MZ Wallace and I have my little link pouch attached to it. I think it works out really well because you have a lot of extra space inside this backpack at the top half of it. So in both of these compartments, I feel like it's awesome for baby blankets or loveys or um, sweaters in the wintertime, things like that, that you just need some space for. You have a lot of extra space up here. So I kind of took advantage of that by putting this little link pouch um, right here. Inside here, I actually have my earbuds. Um, it's like kind of the perfect little pouch for it. This would also be a really excellent um, idea for passy pods. Let me actually grab one. I have one right over here and show you all um, how that works. For those of you that want to see here, it's just kind of a little hack to keep things up out of the way. You can easily put one here. You could even put two obviously and um, just kind of have that there if you need something. So looking down inside this back pocket, you have one long zipper and it's trimmed in this really pretty kind of pop of bright pink. I love that. It's very subtle yet it's just kind of fun. And inside this pocket, you have a big um, wide pocket, but it only goes down about the length of my hand. So it doesn't go all the way down to the bottom. It's perfect for things that you need to grab out quickly because you won't have to root down very far to get them. I don't have anything in that back pocket right now. Then right up from it, you do have a padded sleeve for a laptop or tech things. My 15 inch um, MacBook fits perfectly inside this back pocket. I will sometimes carry it in here. Obviously I have it just packed up for the kids. So not a whole heck of a lot of things for me in here, but I just have a book for my youngest and two coloring books to keep them entertained while we're out and about. So I have those tucked down in there. And then right up here from it, I have my Erin Condren folio planner. Those of you that have that planner can really tell size-wise size how much room now you have up here. 
Um, this fits perfectly down in there. It's my big planner and I also have my little pen case attached to it, which has three or four of like my most used pens down in there. And then right next to it, I have a medium set piece. Now I could easily fit that medium set piece down inside this elastic pocket here. Um, I just packed it up rather quickly, so I didn't do it that way. But both of these pockets could easily hold medium set pieces. If you're all about packing with all the pouches, this, this bag is perfect for that. Um, I don't have anything in either one of those because I just had the thing sitting in the main bulk of it. But inside this medium set piece, I just have things that I would need to grab for myself or maybe possibly my daughter. This is kind of like my pouch. It has um, some scrunchies for her. I have some sunblock, extra lip products, tissues, eyeglass cleaner. I have a little small travel like perfume, more hair ties, um, nail files, that kind of thing. So this is like my miscellaneous pouch for anything that I would need. Moving into this front pocket, I have sitting right here on top a package of boogie wipes because I feel like every single member in our family has some type of cold right now. With the particular season that we're in, my youngest has horrible, horrible outdoor allergies. And I feel like all of us are just really sniffly. So I mainly have this pack in here for him, but we all end up using them. Um, even though my kids are older, this is still like a baby-ish product that I refer back to all the time and use. So I have those just hanging out on the top here because like I said, we grab for them all the time. And this is a full pack. So that's there in the top. Then you also have another zipper pocket back here, very similar to the one that's in the back of the bag, the same type of thing. I actually, again, don't have anything packed in there, but it's a great pack um, pocket for like med kit or medicines or things you wanna kinda keep away from the kids, bribery, lollipop, like that's a good kind of hidden spot for that kind of thing. So inside here, you have two elastic pockets here in the front of the bag. Then you also have two elastic pockets on the side of the bag and two more pockets in the back. <laughs> so I'll show you what it looks like all empty here in a minute. But I have pretty much just one thing inside in one of the pockets because I use these two big pouches. They just work really well for me right now when I'm out with the kids. I can throw them all in big bags. I can easily transfer them. So it's just kind of a good little method. But inside here, I have a be quick and it is full of activities for my older kids and i get this question asked a lot like what do i carry to entertain my kids now that they're bigger i know a lot of you are still in the toddler or baby stages of life and um, don't necessarily have older kids so i hope that this kind of helps some of you out there that are in the same phase of life as me but obviously all of these packing products you can use in any stage of life with your kids. So inside this Be Quick here, I'll unpack it quickly just so you can see. And then like I said, I won't go through this detail and all of the other um, bags, but I just have some markers down here at the bottom. My kids are in like a marker stage. It's, they prefer them over crayons. Then I also have this little mini silicone pouch by Oventure. And inside here, I have little mini Disney cars for my youngest. He still really likes to play with these and they're great for on the go. Then I also have right next to that a couple of little Dollar Tree notepads. These are awesome <laughs> to entertain them when we're out. And then I have a couple of activity books. I have this play pad that has mazes and puzzles and things. I also have a word search book and then I have a Sudoku book. So again, because my kids are older, we're kind of growing a little bit out of like the play pack sticker stage, although I do still carry those from time to time because they will get into them. Um, but I try to put a little bit of like older type activities for them in here. So all of that fits in the Be Quick. And then I have the long strap back here in the back just to keep it with the quick, but nothing else inside that pocket. I could put more in here if I really wanted to. Be Quicks are great activity pouches. Back here in this back elastic pocket, I have a clear clip pouch made by 31. This has been my favorite pouch to carry snacks in because it's small and it's compact. You have a clear pocket here in the front, which is great for um, napkins or wet ones, things like that. And then inside the pouch, oh, you also have this little carabiner on the side if you need to attach it to something. But on the back, you have just this little open pocket, which I don't have anything. 
but inside the zipper part, it's thermal lined. So it's great living here in Florida because my youngest loves these like chocolate granola bars. And although they won't completely melt, um, if I have something in my bag, they will get kind of tacky and sticky. But if I have them inside something that's thermal lined, it kind of keeps them from doing that. So I use this for snacks. I have things like fruit snacks, these little graham crackers. It's pretty much whatever we happen to have in our pantry. But right now it's full of like, um, kind of like beef sticks and more granola bars an eaten granola bar, as you can see. So this just holds all of our snacks really well. So I highly recommend this one since it's thermal lined. Last but not least, I have a bee dapper packed down in here. And I don't typically carry one of these on the daily, but this time of year, I have products in here that I need, or products, I have items, <laughs> whatever you wanna call them, that I need all of the time um, because my son does have asthma. Um, so I'll show you that here in a second. But outside this back zipper pocket, I have a ton of Band-Aids. I also have these little throat um, like soothers. My kids like these enough. Halls make some too, but they're basically like kid lollipop. They're in the um, cough drop section and it just helps if they have like a cough or dry throat or whatever. So I have some of those in there and Band-Aids. This is pretty much my enlarged med kit, if you will. Um, again, it's just the season. I typically don't carry this all the time, but I need it now. So down in here, I have another package of wet ones. Yes, this is kind of like a backup. It's excessive, but yeah, we have them. So I have that in there. Then I also have um, extra face masks for the kids. This is just one for each um, that I have tucked down in there. My oldest loves these Rothy's masks. My youngest wears these random like a drugstore face mask, and then me and my daughter wear the kitchen ones. So I have those tucked down in there. They're backups in case we need them. Then inside here, I have a small set piece. And inside here, I have um, like med stuff. Again, this is like a big med kit. Some Neosporin, I have my healer stick, which I always have with me for bumps, bruises, skin issues. I have a more medicine. I have like an Advil down in there. I also have travel scissors, which I never leave without, nail clippers, some eye drops. So those type of things are in this small set piece. Then the last thing inside the Speed Dapper is a mini um, wet bag. I think this came in an old be equipped possibly. I don't remember. They don't sell this separately. I know, um, but you can use any type of wet bag or even like a Ziploc bag or whatever. I just happen to still have this one. And inside here, I keep my son's inhaler. <clears throat> he is asthmatic with allergies. I've had a couple of scares with him already this season with having to take him to the ER and it was not fun. So I make sure I always carry his um, rescue kind of inhalers, his chamber, and then I keep all of that neatly in here so that I can pop it in bags for soccer games, basketball games, or just every day out and about because I don't ever want to be without it. All right, so that is everything I have packed up inside this Million Pockets bag. I'll give you guys one more look on the inside here. Again, you have two elastic pockets on the sides over here two more here, two in the front, tons and tons of pockets. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack the same exact items inside each one of the other GGB backpacks. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit, put it to some music so that you guys can see exactly how all of these backpacks compare. <music> Everyone who's around me I've been putting on my fake smile Even though I'm wasting time I don't want to be trapped in a box Trying to be like the rest when I'm not I just want to go my own way Gonna let the past burn down Cause honestly don't want to be Stuck in boring conversations with you With you I'm gonna leave it all behind Myself, I'm gonna start with you. Yeah, I'm on my way now.
Now 